welcome back to the channel guys um as you as you guys can see the title um how to make the trigger system for the marble gun i'm going to show you guys how to make it um there's two different type of lighters that i use but i'm going to show you one of the way that is that would be easier i'm going to show you the way that would be easier so um i have all the materials i'm going to show it to you so you guys can get it and guys remember you know this is just for educational and entertainment purposes only just to make sure i'm just putting that out there all right i don't know this channel is all about having fun yes so okay guys this is what you're gonna need you're gonna need a grill lighter um, we call it a grill lighter because it's mostly used to light the grills you can use it to light your stove as you all know you're gonna need a scissors you could use a knife you're gonna need a knife um, you're gonna need a piece of um, plastic preferably plastic you could use like board or whatever but I use plastic I'm gonna show you what I use it for you're gonna need some epoxy um, you can use steel epoxy as well as I think any epoxy can use guys believe me and you're also gonna need some telephone wire or any wire with a small any copper wire with a small diameter like this all right now um that's just basically it and you're gonna need some glue yeah and a hock saw guys do not look at my little hock saw <laughs> it's broken into pieces but that's just it you know all right and you're also gonna need um a screwdriver that can fit into the screw hole of the lighter when i when i pull the lighter from out of the pack you will see it this one is already um in the process of being finished i still need to cover the ends of the wires that i've joined together so you'll see that in a little bit guys and this is why you would need the plastic to cover the the back side of the lighter that would go into the the, the handle of the the gun all right now i prefer to use the the lighters like this guys because i could build it a different way but the lighters have safety on it so if if i click the safety down the trigger can't be pressed so i use it this way all right i use the lighters that's why i use the lighters like this okay guys so here we go guys i should mention there's two types of lighters that have come across like this the, the um the grill lighters there's two type of these that i've come across i'm not sure if there's more but i've come across two types you have the type where there is the wire is long on the inside and you have another type where there's no wire on the inside so you'll have to substitute the striker that's on the inside with um an, a, a, a handheld lighter no i'm not gonna do that that video today guys i'm just gonna show you this way this is the easiest and simplest way i can think of possible to make the trigger system for you guys so let's go now first you have to get off the bottom part of the lighter guys it's just a clip on for the lighter there we go now there's a screw right here now i don't have a screwdriver guys this is my screwdriver a nail and a star point point a star point screwdriver to be exact then you're gonna take this part off guys for it to open as well so first you take off the the part that's on the bottom you take off the part that's at the the ring of it right here and the screw has to come out as well the screw is already loose guys so you could just open the lighter like this now when you open the lighter guys this is what it's gonna look like on the inside now 
I am not gonna need this part so you hold it like this take off this part that's no use to me at least for now no use to me you just need the wires guys and you don't need the, the lighter part either so none of this is useful all right no this is the striker some of the the stove light the grill lighters guys they don't come with a wire like this on the inside so you'll have to take the wire part from a different lighter from the handheld lighter as i told you before to to do it to fit on the inside of this so that's for a different um trigger system though now this is what you need and all you need to do is just to cut off the back side of the lighter so you see where if you notice there's a there's a part basically like a partition right on the inside of the lighter you're gonna cut it right there with a the hacksaw now my hacksaw is broken and it's small so i'm going to have to cut it like this you could just close the lighter back up like this and just cut it across but my hacksaw is not so so dainty so i'm just gonna use it like this guys Okay guys, so this is it so far, this is the part that you will need, hold on, let me get it all set back. That is it. So as you guys can see, this is the, the only part that you will need for the the trigger system now you're gonna need some um, phone wire you can use phone wire any copper wire with that is small like the um, like the lighter wire guys preferably copper though because when when it ignites in the chamber guys after a while the wires they get rusty and stuff so copper is better to use on the inside of the chamber so you'd want to you to use copper wire to join from the lighter wire to the chamber now you'll see future videos on that guys so don't worry about it all right guys so let me open it back because i need to join the wires first before i do anything else guys now, strip the wires off now you can burn it and strip it off guys but I prefer to use the scissors to go around around it there we go guys Twist the two wires together just like this. When you're finished, guys, the wires are mended like this. Now you can use a black tape. Or electrical tape to wrap it but I use the epoxy I mix the epoxy guys to do to mend the wires together so it would seem similar to the coating that's on the wire already So that's it guys, I've joined the wires together, now I'm going to close it up. Now, this is where the 
glue comes in you need a little glue to assist these parts guys you want to make sure everything is nice and snug you don't have to but I, I ensure doing this part guys because I want to make sure everything is you know copper set This is my screwdriver. So guys, put a little bit of glue on the, the part that you've cut off already or the back side of it. And then, this is where the plastic comes in. Bam. Just like that. Kind of hold it there for the glue to, to stick it on properly, guys. You can just leave it to dry a bit. still not fully dry as it guys but you know and the glue that I'm using is super glue there we go voila so the only thing that's left on the the trigger system to do guys for now is just to get the wires covered whether by electrical tape or by the epoxy because I prefer using the epoxy because it, the epoxy um, serves as a coating similar to that that's on the wire already if, if you have your trigger system guys and the current starts to leak at some point any point you're not gonna get a, 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 a strong um, spark in the chamber of the marble gun guys and it will not fire so you have to make sure it's properly wrapped or in other terms will I use the epoxy yeah you get the drift I use less of the resin guys and more of the hardener if, if you put more of the resin inside of it guys it's gonna be watery when you mix it so say if, if I put like that amount of resin I'll put almost um, the exact same amount and just a little bit more over with, with the hardener guys the hardener should be a little bit more than the resin because you want for it to, to hard up quickly you don't want for it to be runny when you're when you're coating the wires I'm gonna use the well I can use the, 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 the lighter to mix it so mix it together like this kind of leave it a little bit guys for it to kind of get a little bit thicker and then I start putting it on the the wires okay guys so me use just a little bit on this right now
so I just want for it to get much harder guys gotta give it some time so that's just one part of the coating I'm gonna put some more on it and then you could use like your electrical tape to put over it so you, you are sure it's, it has no leakage nowhere to leak so you'll get you'll get strong current in your in your marble gun chamber guys so after I've coated it for like about five times you can actually use your hands or your fingers to mold mold it just kind of give it a squeeze you know around it and then you can put your electrical tape around this part so it has like extra um, coating because as I said before if your if, if your, your, your trigger system has any leak any at all it's gonna make um, the spark on the inside of your marble gun chamber I'll show you in, in future videos what that looks like it's gonna be weak and it's not gonna ignite the, the alcohol when you spray it on the inside of the, uh, the marble gun chamber guys so this is what it, this is what it kind of looks like right now and then I'm gonna wrap it with some electrical tape so I'm gonna go for the electrical tape right now and come back so this is it guys all you guys need to do is just to for extra precaution you just add the electrical tape around the area There's many other ways to do it guys, but this is how I, I do my trigger system just to ensure that um, the gun is performing at its best or performs at its best. So. Hmm. So this is it, it's all finished now, the only thing I'm going to do is to put um, the front piece, it helps to hold the, the trigger system. trigger system now I'm gonna trim the wires off a bit just to show you guys how it works okay guys so we're on the inside just for you to see the spark so here goes so there we go it's working properly so that's it my peeps that's the trigger system right there that's how it looks now when it, when it goes on the gun it looks even cooler yeah 